So the first kind of topic I had on our agenda that we wanted to talk about was TV systems. Now, it might not seem that exciting to uh, to some people, but but let's be honest, you know, for years, we, we've all walked into a hotel room, we expect to see a TV on the side. Um, there was a long time ago, in my opinion, where I used to walk into a hotel and, and sometimes be wowed by the TV system that was there. In recent years, with advancements I think we've had at home, uh, you know, smart TVs, different solutions, uh, it, it's made it a little bit more challenging for um, hoteliers to really give something that that can be wowed, that can wow the guests from a, a, a technology standpoint. I think as well, you know, traditionally it used to be very possible for hoteliers to generate revenue through um, through the TV system, through various uh, components. Uh, some of that has maybe changed, but again, I'm hoping Nick will have some input on this eventually. I think it's very much about the model for doing that uh, has changed and, and there's still opportunities and that's something we'd uh, we'd like to get into. But really, I'm interested to start the conversation with the guys on here to understand um, from everyone's view what we think an ideal uh, hotel TV system should contain, if you like. So maybe not going too deep into the technologies, more about um, what kind of components is the guest expecting these days? How how can they get access to them? And how does that fit into to the, the solution as a whole, really? Um, so I don't know if I want to put that out there. Perhaps, Darren, you might have uh, some good comments on that one. I've got to be here all day if you start me off on TV. <laughs> oh, please um, do. Please do. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think it's a it's been a, a, a very changing um, changing environment for the last few years. I mean, we you know we've seen VOD fall away as the first signs of that. Uh, and to your point, you know, when when you were staying in a hotel years and years ago, you know, seeing seeing movie releases in your hotel room was a phenomenal experience. But of course, Certainly now well. it's second nature to everyone to have you know all of their content available all the time wherever they are. Uh, in the world, so uh, it was obvious that that was was going to die. I think what we're we're seeing certainly is uh, a big push towards OTT, uh, and there are there are there are two very different camps. I think with the way uh, industry partners like me uh, and <laughs> hoteliers themselves, you know, see that being used. You know, some is yep. a, a, what we would call BYOC, bring your own content, and yep. some is BYOD, bring your own device, and they sound like the same things to most people, but they're not. Um, yeah. So I think that you know I think that's where we're seeing the majority of the changes. But I think also um, I, I think a lot of hotels believe that the TV isn't being turned on anymore. And, and I and I actually would have shared that view uh, a couple of years ago as well. Uh, looking at my own behaviours, you know, when I visit a hotel uh, because we're all running around we're in a desperate hurry. We've got our mobiles going off all the time from not just our phone calls and emails, but all the social interactions we do across social media. So there's a lot of distraction, and the TV yeah. just had. TV channels and no one really at home watches live TV apart from news and sports. So it's yep. kind of going to happen. Uh, and I think the world is waking up to that. Uh, and that's where I think we're going to see the biggest change is to move from live linear content uh, to, to OTT. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And to come back to your point there about um, nobody turning the, the uh, TV on anymore, that's something I hear quite a lot. Um, and I like to argue against that point because you know, you've got to give people a reason to turn the TV on. You know, we go back 10, 15 years, we were all very familiar with watching linear content on TV, putting TV on, watching channels. You know, our behavior at home has changed. So inevitably, when we stay in a hotel, our behavior and viewing habits have changed as well. And it's very, um, very uh, key what you say there about the OTT delivery access to apps and things like that, uh, you know, bringing your own content. It was interesting. I read an article uh, that was written in 2009. So um, just to just to give it some background. And one thing this article focused on was the bring your own content angle. However, it was more of a bring your own device idea. And the key takeaway it summarized in 2009 was if you're going to put a TV screen into a room, that you need to make sure you allow guests to access their own content. And the way you do that is to provide HDMI sockets 
and USB sockets. <laughs> and that was really interesting. And I'll just say again, this was written in 2009. So some protection of whoever wrote that, you know, they, they didn't have a crystal ball to see into the future. But obviously, Darren, you're, you're on, on, uh, on the same page as me when you're chuckling away there. You know, it's very key that, uh, uh, you know, well, it's very clear to us now that that's not what happened. But the premise was correct. We guests do bring their own content. However, they essentially bring them in a form of a subscription now. And that was what we didn't predict because in 2009, you know, there wasn't uh, a, a huge array of, of apps. Yes, some, some did exist, some systems, some solutions, some service providers did have content available, but it wasn't as, uh, as ubiquitous as it is now almost. Um, so, you know, we've seen that shift from offering a socket, if you like, to offering access to to software. Um, I don't know if you've got any comments on that, Nick. Um, obviously, being involved with such a long time with Citizen M and the shift that they saw in those kind of solutions. Yeah, I've got always plenty of comments if I can. I, I have to say, right right from the word go, um, going back to Mandarin Oriental days, I was yeah. uh, pretty much the first, I think, to do the sockets on the wall. Um, <laughs> I recognize the value of. Uh, of um, the guest's own content uh, from the guest's own device. Yeah. And um, I think we were right there, right at the beginning. In fact, I remember at one of the high techs drawing a design for one of the uh, makers of those devices who has subsequently gone on to sell it to very many uh, hundreds of thousands of hotel rooms. Uh, so that, that was, it started there. And then of course, we've moved on and I think if uh, I, I use Citizen M as an example, when I when I first went into Citizen M um, back in 2013, the very first thing that we did uh, technically was to install um, a bring, bring your own device, AirPlay and some Miracast as well. Um, very much focused on the guests that we knew that we could see. Um, those guests were carrying Apple devices, so it made sense to focus on 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 airplay but i've always felt that uh a bring your own device strategy is uh, just an intermediate step it's not where i think we as guests in hotels would like to be because really ask yourself the question bring your own device is about streaming your content from your device you're connecting your device to somebody else's screen do you do that at home I mean, who actually does that at home? Uh, I, I don't know anybody that streams from their own device at home. What they do is they have devices in their home. They have an ecosystem of devices in their home with which they're very familiar. And their yeah. content is transparent through those devices, through various subscriptions and identities that they have that are stored within that ecosystem. And I think ultimately that's what we want to see. We want to see the hotel room being simply a geographical extension of the ecosystem that the guest already has at home I, and therefore profit from the uh, from the subscriptions and the identity that the guest has. And it really is that word identity that gives yeah. you access to that content. 